Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to another video. Just want to say before we get into it, I uh, don't have internet at the moment, so when I picked up the VL, that was last weekend. Um, it's currently a Thursday now. I've been on night shift, it's like 7am and I finished at 6. Um, yeah, I don't have internet at the moment, so I can't really upload the videos as soon as I do it. Internet should be coming soon, should be coming this week or next week, whenever Telstra decides to send it out. And if you're in Australia, you know how Telstra can be sometimes. But I just thought I'd give it a clean bug bonnet because there are, I've seen three Huntsmans drop out of it so far and I don't know what's under door handles and under seats and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to take all the wheels out, take what I can out, put it on the ground and went to Bunnings. Bought some control bombs, which I'm going to go set one in that. I have some core flute, which is like plastic stuff. I'm going to duct tape to the back window to... I'm going to duct tape to the back window so it all doesn't escape out here. Leave it for two hours, I think it says. And then let it all air out for half an hour. I'm going to get a gurney off either Dad or... I mate from work so I can gurney the whole thing and hopefully get most of this shit off. I'll give the engine bay a, a gurney, cover up the, I think it's a MAF sensor, the dizzy, give it a good gurney because that is feral. And see what type of damage I'm in for. Might be a bit slow of a video this one but might be a couple of time lapses of me doing the gurneying or bug bomb or just something but but if you can hold your attention through the whole video thank you Bella come say hello to the people Bella come here Bella come here sit 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 yeah Still seven weeks old, still learning everything, aren't we? <laughs> right, right, let's start taking all the wheels and everything out so I can put the bug bombs in. Straight up. Look at him. Straight up, first thing. You have to kill that son of a Gotta find something to kill him with. Probably just gonna go the shovel. The old, old trusty shovel. What do you reckon, Bella? A trusty shovel to the head. You're fucked. Oh, it still landed in the yard. I'm going to make sure he's definitely not coming back. Didn't even get to take anything out and there was one. Well, uh, we'll try again, I think. We might keep the shovel nearby just in case. We head for the sky, it's alright. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's alright. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's alright Scattered in mud, it's alright You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want this time Alright, don't know how that footage was, I hope it was good because it's getting sunny out now Could have been a bit of glare but Got everything out, there wasn't as much as I thought really Um Yeah, I'm gonna need to get gloves on and Give all this to go through. Well, it depends what's under all that shit. It'd be good to get the vacuum out, but I don't want to fuck my vacuum. Well, the back, I reckon it's going to be a heap of rust in that wheel well there. Because since this back door. Um, tried using the key to get the back, the back tailgate up, but um, the key nearly snapped. It just, it just bent. Put in my pocket here. Whatever's in the Siggy lighter. Siggy, the ashtray, sorry. I wonder what's under these seat covers. Or how good the, the condition of the seats are. A bit of mould. It's going to have to get new carpet, I think, Rodit. 
think rare spares do new carpet, which would be bloody good. Ooh. Yeah, this windscreen rust is not good. Um, I guess I'll go get that plastic out. I'm gonna go put that in all in the bin first. Hopefully, I don't get stubbed by something or bitten somehow or spider crawls up my arm because I'm gonna freak. All right, it's a lot better than I thought. I mean, it's still not good, but there's not as much rust in there as I thought. Like, there's a drain hole there, so it probably will just drained out, which is actually really good. I thought that was all just going to be rusted, but um, driver's floor, all that green mouldy stuff was. You know, it's a little bit in the carpet there, but it was all the um formats that were in it, or the rest of the floor mat. Nice vacuum and a steam clean and it might actually come up a lot better than I thought. But for now, watch out. I'm going to chuck a bug bomb in it and go from there. All right. Oh, I'll move that. So which way is it gonna spray out? Oh, like that, okay. You ready, boys? Oh, no. I didn't put the stuff on the back. Should have thought about this before I did it, but <laughs> how messy that is. It already ran out, but it's still like hot boxed in there. So uh, I did forget to mention, guys, this video might be over a couple of days. Um, don't actually have the gurney at the moment. I might jack it up and put it on other wheels, although I'm gonna need new hubs all around. I think they're hubs, whatever the studs are connected to, because they're just rusted out and there's, there's no putting wheel nuts back on them once I get them off, if I get them off. So. I'll have to get new of those before I put wheels all around. As you can see, the back wheel is a bit crooked because the wheel nuts are barely on. That's as far as I could get them on. Just throw you guys around like that. It's a bit rude. Um, yeah, so this video might be over a couple of days or over a week or bit. So, so if you see it jump to different times and I'm wearing something different, you know why. Righto, so it's Friday now, the next day. Um, I left the bug bombs in the car, which it says leave them in there for two hours and then vent for half an hour, or ventilate, sorry, for half an hour. But um, ended up getting a gurney off Dad. If I can see if I can gurney it and get all this stuff off and all the stuff on the roof here, all that on the guards. I'll do a little before and after thing as well but um we'll clean all this off the top get it set up sat up sat over to the side set up the gurney a little bit of a before and uh I guess we'll cut to a bit of a time lapse bit of a boring gurney and tell me what you want this time I won't take it to the heart cause I know take a lot longer than I thought just because it, it's not really that good it barely has any pressure or spray to it so I'm just gonna go over the little bits like getting door handles getting the mirror go around some trims um, can barely even do the roof so uh I'm gonna have to get a bigger one go down to super cheap and buy one although they were sold out of the ones that I want the $100 ones $120 ones but we'll just go over trims and door handles and stuff like that and uh yeah, I don't think I'll record it. Take 
seven years. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. Um, did some washing, slacked off a little bit, didn't really, didn't really get straight into it, but um, it's a lot cleaner. None of this stuff's along the guards anymore. There's a little bit on the top. I'll get to the roof another day because that's really, really stuck on there. I'm not going to worry about cleaning the tailgate, um, obviously, because I'll just replace that eventually. But you can see the difference. Did uh, did door jams too, and gave the door card a little bit of a gurney down. Engine bay, nice and clean now, all compared to what it was. Looking nice. A lot of rust here. Ooh. I'm going to show you these door jams. I can stick my hands under the door without freaking out now. It's clean. Still got to get the vacuum in there. We'll vacuum all of that up. See how it comes out. Try and remove the seats and steam clean or gurney them as well. Back seats are going to be a pain. Just how dirty it is. Tried my best with that. It's hard. I don't have an extension cord to reach all the way down here. I'll have to go and buy one. It's now Saturday. I didn't do much yesterday except for gurney in it. Maybe that was the day before. I cannot remember. But today I've got the vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna jump in there and get out all the rat poo. Everything off the floors. See what I can clean off the dash. Um, get that back floor and seats a go and see what she can come up like. Something to show you guys. Pretty clean compared to the other seats. Obviously there's nothing left of the carpet but that's all right. An egg. A whole egg. 200 likes and I'll scramble it and eat it. I didn't get too much of it done. Mum ended up showing up and uh, seeing Bella, but... Bit of a clean. I just haven't done the other side yet. I need to get a bigger extension cord so I can reach around the other side. Rip the back seat cover off. Give that a bit of a vacuum. Kind of finish down there. There's still stuff under the seat. Obviously I haven't touched the other side. I think when you'll see me do the other side I'll have a bigger extension cord or um so it's now Monday morning just finished work oh, about two hours ago I finished work ripped the back seat out took me a little bit it's bloody hot and worn out now but I finally found out how to do it little, little dog there don't want to touch anything five cents was that 20 cents or 10 cents it's already a 15 cent profit. Right, I'm gonna get most of that out. So give it a good little vacuum. I know there's gonna be a couple of jumps between days in this as I don't have a lot of time each morning or each day after work to, uh, to work on it, but. Yeah, have a nice little vacuum in here. Seats look way better. I've got the rear seat up there. Um, I think tomorrow, I will work on getting these front seats out, cleaning the driver's side, maybe going over the interior, the roof and everything, getting rid of cobwebs and finishing that all up. We'll see where we get tomorrow. So I've actually decided that I'm not going to pull the front seats out today as I built a little fence for Bella. So that took my morning up this morning. How do you feel? What are your thoughts on a fence? Not very happy, are you? Anyway, that can be all next video, as I think this one's going to be a little long already. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Give us a like, and uh, see you on the next one.